So I think Hot Toys wants to be our Valentine. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all doing well. I am doing pretty good here because I woke up this morning. I opened up YouTube and much to my surprise, 89 Batman has been announced. And let's take a look. There we go. So, we had uh, the announcement from Jazz Inc. a couple weeks ago about the uh, their version of the 89 Batmobile. Looks fantastic. Now we've got Hot Toys has decided to bless us with uh, their 89 Batman and Batmobile. So we're going to take a look at uh, some of the photos they posted. And because uh, I've tried to not watch other preview videos, I want this to kind of be a shocker. Uh, you know, well, to get my genuine reaction to it, as just like I was gushing over uh, Jazz Inks, this is my Batman. This is my guy. So let's take a look. There's going to be gushing. Just, just want to let you know at the time. There's going to be gushing. I mean, look at this. This is, look at the diorama. Like, I'm trying to learn how to make uh, dioramas. And, I mean, besides it, this gargoyle looking like he's about to poop on Batman, um, it still looks great. And, uh, yeah, I definitely want it. And this is amazing. Now, Hot Toys, you know, this was at uh, some of the shows last year they were showing this. And now they're showing it in this these promo picks and you know, hot toys, you need to deliver on this. Like don't, don't, don't tease us like this, especially on Valentine's day. Don't tease us like this, you know, don't get us all hot and bothered. And then, you know, Hey, well, that was just a picture. Well, none of that. None of that. Like you want all this. You got to give us all that. Man, look at this. Like I did not get the, uh, 89 Batman when he first came out I was uh, I was dumb and I canceled my order but I did get him on the second secondary market uh, definitely paid more money for him than I had to uh, if I had just gotten him brand new but I do have him and he is he is definitely one of my prize figures but look at this like wow you can definitely see the updated paint that they've done like look at the look at the teeth he's got the rolling eyes you know something i said a while ago that they should all have that i mean look at this it looks like keaton just standing there in like a screenshot from the movie this is amazing and this is this pose very reminiscent of when he sent the batmobile into axis chemicals and blew it up and the Joker was on top, taunting him. Very nice. Again, it looks like he learned his lesson and got out of the way of the gargoyle pooping. Almost looks like the gargoyle is kind of looking at him saying, you know, sorry, dude, but, you know, when you got to go, you got to go. Very nice. Very nice. He's got some articulation. Hope the suit is better. The cape looks a bit better because luckily when I got my mine uh, used, he had a custom cape because when I first took it out, I was like, I heard the cape was so bad. This doesn't look bad at all. And then the actual cape was in the uh, the box. And yeah, it's like a trash bag. So hopefully this is an improvement. It looks like it is. I mean, look at the paint job on that, uh, that gargoyle. That, that looks good. The aging on it, that looks real good. I'll take some notes. There he is. Ugh. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Sorry. All right. <laughs> Whew. Get, a little, get a little hot there. Give me the vapors. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah, look at you. Ah, oh, perfect. Like, that Batmobile looks good, too. Uh, hopefully, it is not just a reissue of the 
previous, but I mean, they have the mold for it, so I wouldn't blame them if they used it. Uh, I believe in, I read the Facebook article has said that they are, uh, it's screen accurate. Um, let's hope that it is. I'm, I know Jazz Inc. Uh, has already said theirs is screen accurate and they're going to, you know, I, I tend to believe it. Um, their attention to detail. We'll see what Hot Toys does, but uh, I think I'm still going to go with Jazz Inc. on that. There he is again, looking uh, just swell. Yeah, after he, uh, he he took a little whooping up there in the belfry. Yeah, man, look at this. Like the paint under the under the mask, the the eye paint. Look at this. Look at these eyes. Well, all that one on the right with the teeth. Eh, I don't know if we saw that much teeth from Batman, but okay. Look at there. There it is. That turns 360 degrees, huh? So, pooping or non-pooping. There we go. Like, I'm sorry I keep saying it, but whew, it really looks like he's he's going to, you know, drop one and drop a couple. <laughs> he may be a little ashamed of it. But anyway, uh, okay, there's some accessories there. It looks good. The remote for the uh, the Batmobile. Uh-huh, the one where he jacked that guy up after all that, that uh, fluster and bluster, flipping and flopping. Okay. Uh, where does he get such wonderful toys? That's not the quote, but it's close enough. I'm a little tired. Uh, okay, and that's everything he comes with. Ah, uh, thank God he comes with boots. Okay, that's great. All right, and now to the Batmobile. Let's take a look at this guy. Okay, seat slides back. Uh, all the accessories, shin breakers, and all that good stuff. Those wonderful toys. So, there he is in it. Now, my question is... How easy was it to get him in there? And how much did they break him? I mean, they can afford it. They just get another one out, but I'm sorry. You know, that, I think he broke. They should have, uh, like, just a little model, like they do with the uh, with Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster, that's what I was thinking of. What they do with him is they have that half Iron Man that goes in there so it can look like he's in there. Why not do that with Batman? Just have half of them. You know, or, you know, maybe some legs, you know. Yep, there's that pose again. Very nice. Whew, look at those lights. Very nice. Nicely done. And it looks good. Good photos. And look at that dash. Very, very intricate looking. Uh, looks really good. Really good. I am liking all of this. Yes, I am liking every bit of what I am seeing. There he is. And see, that cape is draping pretty nicely. It's not bad. It's not bad. Like, even though I do have... Oh, and they have the rotating base there. Nice touch. Nice touch. Even though I do have the original uh, 89 Batman, I'm definitely getting this du deluxe. There's no way I'm not. But like I said, the Batmobile, I'm probably going to stick with Jazz Inc. with that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how things uh, shake out, I guess. But, uh, you know, oh, there's our shots here. I'm still going to, like I said, I'm still going to stick with Jazz Inc. on there. Um, I think their attention to detail is going to be higher. You know, obviously... The price is higher, but I think for that money, you're going to get that that love of this. Like, it's not a mass-produced version of it where they're going to cut corners, um, you know, because they have to order, like, 50,000 of these things. Um, but, and it's going to be very plasticky. Um, it looks good in photos, but how is it going to feel? I think the Jazz Inc. model will have, like, more heft to it feel a little bit more solid, but this 
this is not a bad alternative, I don't think at all. Like, this looks good. This would look great in the display, just like the Jazz Ink. And for people who don't want to go and pay for the other one, now they have an option. Like, I was sad that I missed out on this Batmobile as well, just like the other Batman. But now, this is a chance. You know, hell, maybe I get two. I don't know. But uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.